टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू सुपर हीटर इन बॉयलर दिस इज द फिगर ऑफ द बैकपोक विलकॉक्स बॉयलर एंड हियर यू कैन सी द सुपर हीटर सो इफ यू जूम इन देन यू विल सी द सुपर हीटर लाइक दिस सो वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड फंक्शन लोकेशन कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग मॉडल एंड एनिमेशन ऑफ द सुपर हीटर दीज आर द डिफरेंट बॉयलर एसेसरीज एंड सुपर हीटर इज वन ऑफ द बॉयलर एसेसरीज सो यू कैन से इट इज वन ऑफ द बॉयलर एसेसरीज सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी पार्ट ऑफ द बॉयलर बट इट इज यूज टू इंक्रीज एफिशियंसी ऑफ बॉयलर नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द फंक्शन ऑफ द सुपर हीटर and here you can see the super heater with the yellow pipe a super heater is a device used to convert saturated steam or wet steam into super heated steam means above saturation temperature super heated steam is used in steam turbines for electricity generation now types of super heaters there are three types of the super heaters radiant super heater convection type super heater and separately fired super heater now location of the super heater so here you can see two types of the super heaters are used radiant type super heater and convective type super heater a super heater is placed in the path of the flue gases location of different types of super heaters so radiant super heater is placed directly in the radiant zone of the combustion chamber so as to absorb heat by the radiation whereas convective type super heater is located in the convective zone of the furnace usually ahead of economizer these are also called as primary super heaters now it's turn for the third type of super heater separately fired super heater is placed outside the main boiler which has its own separate combustion system it is rarely used now the construction of the super heater so this is the very good figure to understand the construction of the super heater it consists of a set of small diameter u tubes here you can see in which steam flows this set is connected to the steam heaters these are the steam heaters the u tubes are placed in the path of flue gases here you can see this one is the path of the flue gases it consists mainly three stop valves here you can see a b and c this figure of super heater is installed in lancashire boiler some flue gases can be diverted by the damper here you can see to avoid overheating of the steam now working with animation of super heater when damper is vertical here you can see this is in the horizontal position but if it is in the vertical position then u tubes are bypass by the flue gases and so that the flue gases will flow like this so no super heating take place and you can adjust the damper position as per the requirement of the superheated temperature of the steam now when superheated steam is not required valves a and b are closed here you can see valves a and b are closed and only valve c is open so at that time what happen just see carefully so you can take the steam from the super heater but it is the wet steam directly from the boiler without passing through this u tube 
so that it will be in the form of wet steam. Now when superheated steam is required, at that time wall A and B are open and wall C is closed. So now let's see the animation. So here wall C is closed, but A and B walls are open and so that the wet steam will flow through this wall A. So see carefully and then pass to the YouTube and so that it will convert it into the superheated steam and then it will discharge to the steam turbine. Now advantages of the superheater. Steam consumption of the engine or turbine is reduced. Losses due to the condensation in the cylinder and the steam pipes are reduced. Erosion of turbine blades is eliminated because of there will be no any water particles in the steam. Efficiency of the steam plant is increased. Now the application of the superheater. These type of superheaters are used in modern high pressure boilers. They are used where only dry steam is required in a process or machines such as turbines. They can be used in a steam engine where dry steam is needed to prevent wear and tear of engine parts. Now image for the examination. So you can use this image for the examination. More image of the superheaters. So here you can see the superheater tubes. And from this figure you can understand function of the superheater. More image. This one is the model of the superheater. And here you can understand these are the YouTubes and these both are the steam heaters. And from this figure you can understand the location and function of the superheater in the boiler. And here you can see the superheater in the steam engine. So if you want to see more engineering videos, then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends. Press the like button to appreciate this video.